In The Aleph and Other Stories, by Jorge Luis Borges, the author delves into the complexities of reality, infinity, and the labyrinthine nature of human perception. The collection is a profound exploration of philosophical and metaphysical themes, conveyed through Borges's distinctive blend of narrative, reflection, and paradox. The Aleph is one of the standout stories in this collection, where Borges combines the surreal with the metaphysical. The narrator, who shares Borges's name, describes his visit to the house of Carlos Argentino Danery, a mediocre poet who claims to possess a unique artifact, the Aleph. This Aleph is a point in space that contains all other points, enabling one to see the entirety of the universe from every possible angle simultaneously. The story grapples with the concept of infinity and the limitations of human understanding. Borges's use of the Aleph serves as a metaphor for the ungraspable totality of existence, suggesting that true comprehension of the infinite is beyond human capability. The narrative's climax, where the narrator gazes into the Aleph, evokes a mixture of awe and terror, illustrating the sublime nature of encountering the infinite. In The Immortal, Borges explores the idea of eternal life and its implications on human existence. The story follows a Roman soldier, Marcus Flaminius Rufus, who discovers a river that grants immortality. As he traverses the centuries, Rufus encounters a group of immortal beings who have grown weary and apathetic due to their endless existence. Borges's portrayal of immortality is starkly unromantic, suggesting that an infinite life devoid of purpose or end leads to a loss of meaning and identity. The story questions the desirability of eternal life, positing that mortality is an integral aspect of the human condition that gives life its urgency and significance. The Zahir centers on an ordinary coin that becomes an object of obsession for the narrator. This coin, the Zahir, has the peculiar property of gradually consuming the thoughts of anyone who comes into contact with it, eventually driving them to madness. Borges uses the Zahir as a symbol of the inescapable fixation that certain ideas or objects can impose on the human mind. The story examines the thin line between obsession and madness, highlighting how a singular focus can distort one's perception of reality and consume one's entire being. The House of Asterion is a retelling of the myth of the Minotaur from the creature's perspective. Borges humanizes Asterion, presenting him as a solitary figure imprisoned in an endless labyrinth. Through Asterion's introspective monologue, the story explores themes of isolation, identity, and the search for meaning within confinement. Borges's sympathetic portrayal of Asterion challenges the traditional depiction of the Minotaur as a mere monster, inviting readers to consider the inner life and existential struggles of the character. The Library of Babel envisions a vast, infinite library containing every possible book, representing the universe itself. The inhabitants of this library spend their lives searching for meaningful texts amid the overwhelming chaos of its contents. Borges uses the library as an allegory for the quest for knowledge and the inherent limitations of human understanding. The story reflects on the nature of infinity, the search for meaning, and the existential despair that arises from confronting an incomprehensible universe. Throughout the Aleph and other stories, Borges masterfully weaves intricate narratives that challenge readers to contemplate profound philosophical questions. His stories are rich with metaphors and symbols, inviting multiple interpretations and rewarding careful, repeated readings. Borges's fascination with infinity, the labyrinthine structure of reality, and the limits of human comprehension permeates the collection, making it a profound and thought-provoking work. The interplay between the real and the fantastical in Borges's stories creates a unique literary experience that continues to captivate and inspire readers.